Hello everyone and welcome to Downtown Arms Tech and I hope you all are well. Today we're talking about Ryzen 3rd Gen APUs, Vega Beats RTX and also a 1650 Ti has been spotted. So let's roll that intro and get straight on into it. So on over at Tom's Hardware and originally leaked by Chip Hell, we have more of an insight into 3rd Gen Ryzen APUs. Unfortunately the leak by Chip Hell is no longer visible but we do have some pretty good info. So chip held delidded the 3200G to find that they are no longer glued like the previous chips but instead are going to be soldered. The APU is exactly the same as its predecessor the Ryzen 3 2200G and also they share the same cache size. So the 3200G is looking to have 4 cores, 4 threads, base clock of 3.6GHz with a boost of 3.9GHz. Now we don't have much info on the Ryzen 5 3400G apart from its 4 cores and 8 threads. However he did manage to benchmark both APUs. The Ryzen 3 3200G managed 4.3 GHz, which is 300 MHz more than the 2200G, and the Ryzen 5 3400G managed 4.25 GHz, which is 325 MHz more than the 2400G. Now both these APUs hit 75 degrees Celsius at full load and both running at 1.38 volts. So moving on to Vega vs RTX, and over at Game GPU, we can find some benchmarks. At 1080p resolution with the i9 9900K at 5.2 GHz, the RTX 2080 Ti dominates, with the Radeon 7 and Vega 64 far behind but still ahead of the RTX 2080 on DirectX 11. However, with Vulkan we get a different story. Using the same resolution and CPU, we find the RTX 2080 Ti drop below the Radeon 7 and Vega 64 GPUs, and Vega 56 also beats the 1080 Ti and the RTX 2080. However, when we move back on over to DirectX 11 and 4K, and the 2080 Ti takes the pole again, but only barely beating the Radeon 7 and Vega 64 cards. Radeon 7 still is beating the RTX 2080. However, this was all on World War Z, which is a very heavily optimised game in favour of AMD. So Nvidia hasn't yet quite finished with their 16 series lineup of GPUs. Listed on over at the Eurasian Economic Commission, we can find a list of 1650 Ti's from Asus. To be exact, there's going to be 13 of them, and they all come with 4GB of RAM. So whilst we're on the subject of Asus, and whilst I was making this video, they have dropped a new GPU. The Asus RTX 2080 Ti Matrix Platinum and it looks a beast. So with its mirror image shroud and free fan design it looks smart, but that's not all. It's a self-contained hybrid GPU, I mean the AIO is packed in behind the shroud, the pump is quite well thought out and the radiator slotted in with not much room to spare. So it has two 8 pin power connectors and draws 375 watts. A dual bars feature which will have a quiet mode so the fans will run at their lowest speeds and a fan stop feature but the pump will still run and have identical clock and power limit settings. An LED kill switch for a stealth look so no RGB and also comes with two standard size 1.4 display ports, two HDMI 2.0B supports and one USB type C virtual link. So let's have a look at the specs. It comes with 4,352 shader units. 64 ROPs, a base clock of 1350 MHz and a boost clock of 1800 MHz and 11 GB of GDDR6 memory. And all this for a price of $1900. However if you wish to check out more on this GPU I have pinned the link in the comments down below and also leave your thoughts there too. And that's it all from me today guys. If you did like the video then please do give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and click that subscribe button, click that bell icon for more notifications from myself and I shall see you all in the next video.